Hello everyone, Swingless Angel here again. I am back. Okay, just to get everybody up to date, I am using the Chi Expert Deep Pour. Uh, it's a 2 to 1 ratio. It is in my resin mixer. For those of you who don't know what the resin mixer does, I'm trying not to screw anything up here. It mixes. <coughs> it comes with these big cups. Now for the bubbler, I recommend these cups. Also, do not fill your cups for the bubbler past this point. More than 4.0. 4 the reason why is it will not get rid of the bubbles. Also, if you mix your resin really good in here, you won't have bubbles. Now, I usually let this go about four to five times. I think six is the most I've ever had it mix. And this, make sure the plug is in. Make sure you hit the power on. Then hit AI, and it will get rid of the bubbles. So, while I'm getting my resin ready, you guys can just sit back, and I'm going to dig out some molds. It's Thursday. I don't know if I'm going to post this tonight, but I'll dig out the resin curing machine, like I said. My dad is not here. So, I can go ahead and turn on all the airs and air out this room and have it well ventilated and use the resin curing machine and we're gonna I'm thinking about doing the frog and maybe the lizard and some other ones that I got from Timu because this is a deep pour so I'll probably do a jar too it depends on how much resin I have but I'm definitely doing a frog because as you can see, I have all the greens out. I want to do another frog. I've only done one. The yellow one didn't come out. I had to throw it away. So, let's get into this. And I want to thank all my subscribers. Thank you for joining my channel. And uh, if you're not subscribed and you like this channel, hit the thumbs up and think about subscribing. All right. Let me get this ready, and then I'll be back. Right. I have the rest of my resin in the bubbling machine going. Let me get on my gloves and get on my brushes and finish up this coaster as well. I have some little cups here set aside for the resin that's already going through the, the spinner and the debubbler. So... Let's get started, shall we? What I want to do first is I want to add glitter. First. I want to put some glitter in the frog and the, the lizard. I'm going to use like some pretty, pretty colors. Some greens and some yellows would be lovely. I'm pretty sure this is biodegradable glitter because it, it looks like it. So, like I said, I got it on. I got it on Amazon. At least this time I got my apron on. <laughs> so that I don't accidentally spill my glitter everywhere. Get my resin out of the way. We'll just go ahead and do 
the tops of these with some glitter. Since glitter likes to sink, and I am going to put them in the curing machine, as you can see. I already have the bottom of the curing machine with me. And I will mix up the rest of the resin with micro powders to do the rest. I will actually mix the resin with the micro powders. Oh, that is so pretty. These little legs and everything, they're just really hard to do. But I'm pretty sure we can figure this out. Do a frog and do a lizard. keep my area clean. <laughs> it's not easy. It's not easy. I'll get a wipe for that. Or just let the resin curing machine cure it and then peel it off. All right. Now these, these little feet are pain in the butt. Because unless you got this whole part here full, like the frog, it just it just doesn't sit in there very well. It doesn't sit in the feet very well. Lizards the same way with the feet. Right. The humming you hear is the resin. Oh, debubbler. It's debubbling the rest of my resin. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and pop some of that on there. And I want to get some in there. So, we'll just go ahead and add some resin to this. Throw some glitter in there. Let's see, we got purples. Purples. Hmm. Let me go ahead and take off my gloves for this. All right. I think 
I made up way too much resin, but that's okay. Yeah, I'll let that sit. Yeah, let it let it sit in the machine for a while. The lid will come off easier and the bubbles will go down better and you have less bubbles. I need a clean white. All right. There we go. I don't want it on my table. My poor table is starting to suffer. <laughs> All right. Let's stir this up. Mm. <laughs> now, if you're wondering about my seashell, it came out. I have it right here with me. It came out really nice. So, the seashell came out just fine. This is a nice, good size geode mold. Let me make sure I can get it all the way to the edges. Notice a few that I've done that did not go all the way to the edge. And it just looked really, really sad and really, 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 really sad. It just looked sad. So let me scoop that so that it sits even. And that it domes nicely. I don't want it to go over. So We'll just freeform it here. <laughs> just make some really pretty stuff and do the lizard and the frog. I'll probably end up getting another mold out, which would be fine. Maybe, maybe not. Don't know. We'll see. I know the frog takes a lot of resin. It took a lot of resin. So, all right. Let's set that right there. As soon as it's not sticking to my glove, fill this up. Cup emptied. There we go. Get as much of that resin out as I can. There we go. <clears throat> this is just green. That's all it says green. So we'll go with that. It's just green. So we'll go with that. A little mica powder in there. And this is dark green. Wow. Sorry, not much of a ray of colors here. Dark green. Mix some dark green in there.
This last one is the teal. I like the teal. The teal is, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? That is such a pretty color. Yeah, you can see that. All right. So. <clears throat> that is such a pretty color. All right. Yes, I'm actually mixing these all together. To come up with a interesting green color. I'm sure it's going to be shimmering in all different directions. So let's mix it really well so we don't have any dry spots. I'm going to do the frog first. That way I can get it in there. Get it all the way into the head. Hopefully, get some of the legs. It looks like it just doesn't want to go in there. And then I'm going to get some into the... his tail so we don't have any air bubbles. Get him into his little legs. They shouldn't have made these legs go up this high. They should be going down, not up. Going down. Whoops, that's okay. No biggie. Get it into his little tiny toes. See if I had some some clay I could use clay and stop it from draining down and trying to overfill. I don't want it to overfill. Let's bring this up. Let me set this down. Bring this up. There we go. Okay. Now for the frog's feet. Yeah, I'm gonna need another mold because I made way too much, way too much resin. But that's okay. I have the perfect mold for this when I have too much resin. I have a jar, and the resin is clear, so I can always, because I washed all my molds, which is really good.
I do still have some of those red glares I need to get rid of. I think I'll pull them out, mix them in that cup, and just pour that jar. He needs way more in his head. Squiggly wiggly it. Get any bubbles out. Up in there. Get up in there. Come on, get up in there. See what I can do. Oops, I put my finger in the there we go. I put my finger <laughs> in the lizard. That's not cool. There we go. Let me convince this resin to go up into that frog's leg and stay there. There we go. All right. Yeah, see. This didn't stay. It's not wanting to stay. It's not wanting to go in. big deal. <coughs> I have plenty of clear here. Go ahead and put the curing machine on this, pour a jar, and then we'll be back. All right, everybody, it's been done for a while, it's cooled. 
I just wanted to wait until it cooled off a little bit. I did do a jar. Ah. Well, they seem to be. This one didn't quite get all the way into the. That one's still kind of hot. Didn't quite get all the way into the toes. So. I think we could fix that. Let's go ahead and lift them up off of here. I did put, I keep bumping the phone, I did put the other resin in a jar. So I'm going to move this coaster out of here. And we're going to fix their little feet. Because it does not look like enough resin got down in there. And I really don't want to demold it. Not knowing if their feet are done fully. Because they don't look like... I got a little bubble right there. That actually looks like a bunch of glitter. So... I'm going to set these up right here. Move these out of the way. Get some Let's Resin High Gloss UV. Move the resin curing machine out of the way. And we're going to fix these feet. Yeah, like I said. Hmm. That don't seem right. Let's go ahead and put some UV resin into these little toes. And these little legs. My little brush is here. Sorry this video is so long. Let's see what I can do about it. I can never figure out how to fast forward a few things. It'd be great. But let's let's fix our little buddy here. Thinking. Hmm. No idea why. All right. Of 
course, as you know, when resin cures, it shrinks. So we're going to fix our little buddy here. And if you've made it this far into the video, please subscribe, like, and share, and leave a comment. And don't forget to check out my spring store. Check out my spring merchandise. Hoodies, art bags, t-shirts, coffee mugs, other stuff that has my designs on them that I created myself. Go on. Fix our little, little lizard. I don't know if it's a lizard or an iguana, I'm not sure. All I know is this poor guy here, for whatever reason, don't know, I have to figure something out to make this work. He just don't want to fill up the, the toes. Do that and put some UV resin in the in the bottoms there. Let's go ahead and My little friend here, all filled up all the way. feet filled. And then we'll put the UV lamp over them. And get them cured. I want to make sure that's a gap. Make sure it's in the shot. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. And I can I can see what I'm doing. Get those little toes all filled up.
Make sure his arms are done all the way. That way, he doesn't break. All right. Well, I'm going to pause this, and I'm going to hit it with the light. And then we'll come back and demold. All right. Well, it's about, about done here. Wait for that. Here's the frog. The frog looks really, really good. You can see all the all the glitter just sunk right into all those crevices. Some of it got to the bottom, some of it didn't. I don't think I'm gonna have a problem demolding this. It seems like it did okay. It's got a little bit of overage, but not a lot. Didn't have a lot because I had to go over it with resin, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. Let's grab it right there. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and get this lamp out of the way and find out why we have no flash. There we go. Now we can see. All right. All right, let's see how our frog did. I'm so worried about these little feet. They are just so delicate. Still quite warm. Even though the cure machine's been off for probably a good half hour. I just get so nervous. <laughs> Really want to see my little frog. I just want my stuff to come out like it's supposed to. You know. Come on. There we go. There we go. There's a little older spill there. All right, it's trying. <laughs> Just be gentle. <laughs> oh. Come off of there. Come off of there, little frog. A little bit over spill here. I can see it. Trying to be gentle as possible. Come on. Come on. No reason for you to be sticking. Sprayed you with resin and we don't understand. Oh, here we go. Underneath the head. Oh, Lord. This one's being tough. Feel free to fast forward this video. I don't know why it's being so tough. Oh, look at him. Oh, oh 
I got a little bit over it, but oh, oh, look at how sparkly he is. Oh, ain't he adorable? Oh, he came out just darling. All right, time for the lizard. Lizard, iguana, time for the little squiggly guy. Let's hope he comes out a lot easier than <laughs> the frog. Like I said, I was worried about his feet too, because oh, oh, that one came out. That one came out fine. Come on, come on. Oh, his little feet came out just fine. They're just so tiny. I think they should have made the feet just a little bit bigger than what they did. nervous. I'm just so nervous. <laughs> Tiny little toes. Makes me nervous. I'm so worried about the little tiny toes. Oh, he came out cute too. He's got a little bit over still, but nothing serious that I can't just pick away at. Oh, there is my frog. And my little lizard. Oh, they came out adorable. All right, everybody. Now I'm going to have fun cleaning these. Thank you for joining me. And like I said, I went ahead and poured the, the jar. So I'm going to put it on the cure, cure mat here so that it can finish curing. It's not going to go into the curing machine because it's not full. I'm going to put my little box over it to protect it. All right. There they are. Oh, aren't they just adorable? Thank you for joining me. And like I said, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Check out my other videos. Hit subscribe, like, and share. Leave a comment. And hit up my links. Check out my spring store. And check out my affiliate links. Thank you for joining me. Spring with Angel saying bye-bye. Stay crafty, stay creative. <laughs>